Yo, it is. How's it going, everybody? Yo, Stefan. I missed your last comment, man. Sorry, it was a, it was quite a, quite a hectic conversation. Ryan is here. It's the gun show. No gun show, bro. Wearing sweater. <laughs> Yo! Hey, man. How's it going, buddy? Good, how's it going? Am, am I clear on your end? Yes, you are absolutely clear. How's your day been, buddy? Awesome. Good, good, not too bad. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit of a slow morning, because, uh, uh, you know, not, not, not much is happening and things. But, um, yeah. yeah, I'm making the most of it, man. I mean, I'm, I'm really actually, um, this time has been quite helpful for self-discovery and kind of self-love you know if 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 i could put it that way because amazing it's just something it's just something in the air that's that's kind of um very peaceful in, in a sense as, as as much as there's also um so much happening there's also this sense of peacefulness in the air that's that's going around it's nice yeah amazing man I, I i love how you put it i think i think there's always positives to look at right um well, and i think you're looking glass, at it glass is always half full i mean there's there's always i mean it, not to not to kind of uh push aside what's happening definitely you know it's i mean but that's that's kind of the obvious thing that's been talked about now and everyone's talking about it so um but like another side to also look at it is like you said the positive side and i think i don't know it's something that i've noticed also over the last few days and i was i was thinking about maybe doing a post about it but at the same time uh the time never occurred now that now that we are we're live and we're having this chat i thought um i'll just i'll just voice what i've what i've kind of noticed um you know a lot of people have what i've what i've noticed and experienced is that a lot of people have pushed aside their dreams um to settle for a different life so that they can you know make ends meet and and things like that and this time off for most people i've actually noticed a lot of people going back to their hobbies and their passions and putting out you know the artsy or maybe the the other the other side of them and it's it's quite nice to see that side as well to people it's very nice Absolutely, man. And before we proceed, and before I add on my thoughts to that as well, Ryan, thank you so much for joining me, buddy. He Please. is a musician, songwriter, artist. He is part of a popular band called Voice Print. Um, he also has a YouTube channel. He just came up with his cover, uh, which is a mix between Yami and a singly song, which is which yeah. is amazing. And he did an amazing, amazing collaboration with Minesh as well for Water Watermelon and Sugar. Dude, doing amazing things, brother. But just to add on to that, man, I think. I think a lot of people are finally going back to their roots and really like spreading more kindness and love and positivity out there man there's so many people who didn't sing before as who have suddenly started singing there's so many people who um are talking about issues that were never spoken about before um there's so many people who are dancing and making dancing videos and so many people who are spreading their workout videos for free for people to just adapt with the situation right and I think We're living in a beautiful time, man. I think I think I always say this sentence where it's physically separated but socially together. Uh, we're more in touch with who we are. We're more in touch with um, the people around us. Obviously, it's obviously there can be difficult days. Um, like I've had numerous, numerous difficult days since this thing hit and since we've been like isolating and stuff like that. But I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning more about myself. I'm learning how to adapt to the situation that we're in. Of so course. before we deep dive into more conversation, man, tell us more about you, dude. How did you come to music? I I, I read somewhere that uh, music has always been a part of your life. Like you've had a quite a musical childhood, but why yeah. did you pursue it as a full time career? Um. Yeah. Like like you said, actually. So, um, music has has always been um a part of me and a part of who I am because so. from both my parents sides they they love music um and not only love music but they also kind of uh, are musical in a sense so like from my dad's side there's i have my aunts and uncles who who play instruments and sing my dad sings as well 
then same from my mom's side so my mom's brother is a guitarist and a pianist and a, and a singer as well so it was just kind of embedded in my dna um but i was kind of fortunate enough to um have it discovered in me and and brought out in me like so my parents um put me so my, so my parents sing in the church choir and from the time i was about i don't know maybe about 4 5 6 years old since 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 i started talking basically um i i was with them at sunday mass in the in the church choir stalls so i just kind of picked up on the hymns and i was singing all of that um but then it wasn't until i was about 9 years that singing became a professional thing for me um when my mom enrolled me uh for vocal lessons with uh, with Mary Ann David and Auntie Mary Ann has been a mentor to me ever since pretty much um and she kind of molded me into the person and the artist that I have become today and and I owe it all to her um and then I was with her with the choir with the Mary Ann singers for so many years until about that was about about 10 years of professional choir boy life i would say before i then joined voice print which also happened through oh there you go you're back okay we lost you for a second uh i can't hear you now right can you hear me Oh, technology. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can see you, but I can't. Okay. Um. I'm going to invite you back. There you go. All right. Technical difficulties, guys. Um There we go. Just yes. back. <laughs> okay. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, sorry, where, where, Go on, man. Go on. Where, where so you, you basically said that you were singing with the Marian singers uh, in the choir for quite some time. Yes. So about ten years of professional choir boy life, and then uh, that's when I joined Voice Print. So that also happened through through Mar- through the Marian singers because um, I'm sure you as well as most of our people watching know Julius Mitchell, um, the beatboxer. so he was also singing in the choir with me uh, with animarian and he was also part of the original lineup of voice print um and then voice print was going through a lineup change 6 years ago um and they were looking for a new voice to fill in and they had approached julius and said if you know anyone that would kind of fit the part and would fit just make a recommendation so then he had recommended me and he asked me if 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 i would like to be hooked up with an audition to join voice print um and i mean why send down uh, an opportunity to join voice print right so i joined i i i jumped at the opportunity and then 6 years ago is when that journey started and uh, here we are 6 years later going strong making music um and we've evolved as a band and as a brand what was just an a cappella band 6 years ago is now a full on a cappella plus boy band with all our musicians plus a production house as well as a music academy so it's been it's been a hustle but it's been a good hustle man that's amazing bro it's amazing how you guys evolved because i remember watching you guys perform like i it only clicked to me that who you were as soon as you messaged me i was like oh this is the guy i saw perform so i, I saw right. you perform at, do you remember sansil care story yes i do so i was there so i was invited to that and i i saw you guys perform and i was just like 
Holy shit, I'll never be able to sing like that. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah man like so basically now during uh, what's going on around the world and what's happening um even in Sri Lanka how are you guys adapting yeah. how are you guys doing with the situation well i i think i think i speak for i speak for not just musicians but for everyone when i say that this the situation just kind of hit everybody almost the same um and just kind of brought the entire globe like to a standstill um but in terms of being a musician and how it's being handled i think like you mentioned earlier you said that you believe we're living in in a in a good time in a good age where uh, we're able to be socially uh together right and this is the biggest advantage at the moment of social media um and where you also have so much a junk going around on social media we can make the most of the positivity of social media by being socially present where even even you and i being being so many miles apart we can still be together present in this moment having a conversation thanks to social media and for a musician uh it's it's i think it's just about continuing to do what we do which is making music um and it's just a matter of you know we can still put it out there we still have instagram we still have facebook we still have youtube um and definitely there is there is the monetary hit that you but at the same time uh and the arts is something that feeds your soul in general right for you at the moment and i'm just like waiting for your video to load like are you using it uh, using wifi or using uh, data you're back now i think you're gone yeah <laughs> oh my god i think it's uh, i think it's the connection i haven't had experience Hey man, are you on Wi-Fi or are you on uh, 4G or 3G? Should I do you want me to switch to my uh, data? Yeah, do you mind switching? Cuz I I think it will help solve the issue yes. of your voice going out. That. Okay, so switch and I'll I'll invite you back. So guys, uh even though we're being socially together, technology is not on our side today. And that's okay. Um Okay, I'm going to invite you back now. Oh. Yeah. Yo, okay, I think it should be good now. Sorry? I think we should be good now. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Um Oh, I see Gianna has just joined us. Hey Gianna, she's going to be Hi Gianna. She's going to be having a chat with you in a bit, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a very intense conversation. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome. oh, fun. You're going to have fun. It's always fun with G. Um she's uh, So yeah, man. So like I think I think um uh what you was it's sorry to cut you off, but like uh, to stay on topic, I just want to uh, basically talk about obviously we do live in a in a tricky time especially with um, mental health should be um very very importantly looked at. Obviously I advocate for mental health a lot uh, because not because uh, just for the fact it's just I've been through a lot in my life. um um bullying uh suicide attempts and thoughts i've gone for therapy for a year and a half um i want to know from you uh obviously everyone's journey is different when it comes to mental health um and people's conceptions of mental health is also different that's why it's such a taboo in sri lanka it can be loneliness it can be little cases of anxiety it can be insecurities it can be so many things it doesn't have to be oh my god he attempted suicide you know what i mean um but like when it comes to mental health with you um uh or like when it comes to moments that you were dark times in your life how did you as a musician pull yourself out of those moments um so 
just just to kind of on to to your topic as well i i think um mental health uh, should be looked at especially in this country as as a thing and not as, as like not as like this disease you, you have right which is kind um in this country and maybe a lot more right but um our first hand experience is with what we go through um and i think it needs to be handled differently because i think in a day and age where it's all about um seeing how well others are doing and seeing what other people are doing because of social media you you kind of see and everything has become more superficial today than it was some time ago right i think most people if not everybody um has some sort of thing they're battling be it small or big right and i think these need to be addressed um and for me also yes uh we do have we do have our bad days some worse than the rest um for me though the main thing that has helped me through the darkest times in my life has been my faith um because the darkest times i have had are when i felt like people themselves are the ones that have given up on me so i think my strength has come from my faith and through prayer um and that's that's kind of the main way that i've dealt with things and then that has kind of uh been directed me to different paths oh, okay maybe sing a song maybe pen your thoughts down um maybe just go say something sweet to another person to make their day better so that then in turn by making someone else happy that would make you happy and um little little actions have been triggered through my faith is what i believe um but yeah for me the main reason is staying staying strong to my faith because i believe that um you know nothing is impossible with with the man upstairs amazing amazing yeah man i think i think everyone has the um beliefs everyone has their ways of dealing with things for me i'm i'm not a very religious person my mom is uh, but i'm not a very religious person uh, but i found solace in in fitness and gym like i like i don't go into meal plans and all of those things i don't track my micros and macros and none of that shit yeah. but i just like like my the gym is my church it's my covil it's my temple it's my mosque you know like it's it's where i can yeah go ahead you can it's 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 i feel um everyone kind of finds their outlet to just um transition that negative energy into positive energy even even like be it writing a song be it going to the gym be it just going for a nice long aimless drive you know for no apparent reason just get in a car and you just drive down the highway to gol and back okay. where some where some people would see it as a waste of petrol and a waste of time it could be so therapeutic for another person because that just gives them an hour maybe two of time alone to just breathe just be in your own environment and be in positive energy and i think different people have their different outlets i think it's important to respect that instead of saying no this is how you should do it um maybe just take the time to have a conversation with someone and see what makes them comfortable which is why i love what you're doing because you know it sometimes just a conversation with someone can go a long way i believe you have to kind of yeah and uh, i commend you for what you're doing i i admire it thank oh, thank, you. thank you man i think i think um for me dude i don't i don't really um for me it's just helping one person like if i'm able to help one person through this through our our 45 minute or 30 minute chat like as yeah. as long as someone takes it back or goes listens to your music and be like oh man this feels so good you know and like yeah. like i would re- like if they listen to it on repeat the whole day just to get them through that day dude yes. our job's done man you know what i mean like that's that's what it's about you know what i mean but i also want to ask man like i was having a chat with minesh as well about this like obviously as a musician um a lot of your income stream comes from gigs weddings uh, office um uh or activities all of those things right yeah 
uh, what what is your advice when it comes to how musicians can cope with the situation that's happening now especially when it's like your full time thing um well if if i was to say one thing i mean yes i know times are hard and and this is kind of something unexpected uh totally so um i'm just going to give you a personal answer where because i can't speak i mean i can speak as a musician but i don't think it's it's fair to speak for another musician because they they have views and ideas might be different uh but as a musician my opinion my idea is that especially since this is something unexpected and never would we have thought that we would have 3 to 6 months of possible zero income right um and to be very honest majority of the industry doesn't make that much of uh money to create a 3 to 6 month saving right most of us me included like all of us included um we make enough to go about a daily life and make ends meet to not have a have a 3 to 6 month bump. for in in our bank account right but at the same time being a musician uh i would say physical gigs are also not the only mode of income that we can create and this is a good time for all of us musicians to get our content creation and our social uh music games up right where we can put out more stuff because we still have the time to make the music right and we still have the audience to listen to the music and we have the platform to put the music up right so we have all those opportunities and we are in an we are in an age where platforms pay musicians right it's just a matter of um doing a bit of reading to find out how best you can get your music on those channels and generate an income and it's it's definitely going to be a very slow start but i feel it is a start right and it might not bring us money for one two maybe three maybe even six months but it's still a platform and an avenue that can generate an income and i think that is what i'm getting on um i have uh i have for the longest time tried and wanted to write my own music um and i've had bits and pieces of little little ideas stored in so many books and pages and notebooks all over my room and house um but i've been using this time to kind of structure everything a bit more instead of just having bits and pieces and i'm in the process of maybe putting some music together to put it out there for people you know not i mean just for because i want to kind of share my stories through my music and in return that would that could generate streams and views and what not right but the main objective is just to share my story and my life with with people so as a musician i just think just to answer your question in a nutshell i think yes monetary hit has been taken in a massive scale but i don't think it has it has kind of put a complete stop to uh musicians being able to generate an income i think if we want to opportunities are there uh we can still do it it's going to be tough um but i still think we can do it and we can overcome this and not just for a musician but for any other industry as well if if you want to sell something you can just get online and sell it you you have a product you have uh you have art if you do cross stitch you know you can you can just put it out there and you can share it with the world i just think everyone should share start sharing their passions with with the world yeah man and i think um, just to add to that as well like the more you have to also understand that businesses will be also adapting to the whole situation right so for example if um you are a streamer on live streams but you also have content on youtube or tiktok whatever platforms and you're putting music out there there will yeah. be firms that reach out to you or who are making income from another source who reach out to you and be like hey why don't you come and perform on our youtube on our instagram on our do a takeover something like that and we'll pay you for it right these are the new avenues that will come out of this ecosystem right so there's there's always potential it's just that don't drop the ball now that's the most important thing like you're doing you're doing amazing music 
don't drop the ball now actually amp up the content as much as you possibly can across different uh, platforms whether that's spotify youtube uh, instagram uh, facebook whatever it is ramp up the content get the statistics up get get the views up and like whenever you can pitch to a client saying hey why don't i why don't i take over your instagram and like help your employees chill out a bit you know what i mean and like like my music so there's the with every challenge comes new opportunities right sure. so it's just like it's it's about how much effort you want to put into it and and i know for fact like i'm talking out of my ass now but like i have very difficult mornings cuz i know how much i can leverage the situation right now right i can sure. i can really leverage the situation right now but i do have tough mornings where i'm just like man i don't want to you know like it's too difficult you know because like home is like my sanctuary where i can just like youtube and like chill and now it's like that mindset has to completely change you know now yeah. home is where i need to work as well you know so <laughs> yeah. it's it's an interesting time we live in man it's an interesting time we live in but i also want to ask man this is a, this is a question that um that comes on quite often and it came for, for our chat as well when it comes to age and music or when it comes to someone who isn't vocally trained but they do have potential but they really really scared to put their music out there because we live in a judgmental ecosystem right Perfect. what would your advice be to them um well see i like i like i like like how you worded that because a lot of people just generally ask okay for a young musician what do you like what's your advice right um but i like how you added in the part where we do live in a judgmental society so it's not just about if you love music okay just do it also you also need to kind of um be mindful of the fact that you can't just put out controversial music and uh, i mean i'm i'm speaking for the young people here like for example you can't be um you you, you might you might not be able to be a 13 year old girl doing a nikki minaj song in a society like ours right uh, whereas there's nothing there's actually nothing very wrong with it but it's just that you need to kind of be mindful as to whether who you are and what you're doing goes together right um so i think if you if you have a passion for anything uh but in this case talking about music I would say do it 100% but like the little niche topic that we touched on in terms of society just um we just have to be mindful about what we put out like um for example see for me um because uh a lot of people see this controversially today uh because a lot of people look at music as a business now right and they are they're talking about artists selling out to the industry and where they're not dishing out good music the music they're putting out is crap right um there's a lot of controversy in that sense as well which i agree on right there are there are some people uh there are some people who are selling out uh, who could possibly you could possibly have a better way of doing things um i'm talking about the world industry as a whole right um but i feel at the same time if you're doing this as your job and as a bread and butter you also need to have a certain line of business thinking into it because you need to also make the right moves in order to succeed as a business right see it's 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 tough being a music businessman if 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 i can call that a thing because being in our industry we are independent artists right being in a foreign industry you have your agents you have your labels you have your managers to do that for you the musician is just the artist so they just focus on the music but being an independent artist you are your own promoter your manager your executive your agent everything so it's a bit of a fine line to be in because it's about feeding the soul as well as feeding yourself physically right um so i think you need to kind of take into consideration certain statistics and certain moves that you want to do you need to take into consideration like for me i love to sing i love music yes but the content that i put out before i put something out i also have to think okay would this be relatable to my following 
or to my friends or to my fans or whatever right it's not just about oh i love this song so i'm going to do it i love the song yes but i also need to think okay how would this relate uh, would it connect with people so like that you also need to think a little bit before doing it it's not it's because because of that i think it's a little bit hard it's a little it's a little controversial sometimes where people would say um oh you're a musician you're supposed to be doing it for your passion but then why are you selling out why are you like you know doing so that side is also there so yeah i think i think it's quite interesting um what you said like yes you love the music but you have to also consider like if your music will get well received because there's there's a different there's like it, it's to each his own right there's an artist who would be like i love this song and i'm just going to put it out there i don't really care you know and that's fine too like do who what makes you you yeah it's totally right? fine um and i think on top of that like people should be building a personality i think people follow personalities a lot more and the voice is like an added bonus you know like i think i think the uh when it comes to musicians uh, actors all of those things i think musicians more than anything like for example i love logic i don't know if you've heard of logic like he's a rapper um he talks a lot about oh, i love him he's he's amazing right i yes i love his music but i follow his story and his personality more than his music you know and because of his story and his personality is why i keep listening to any song that he puts out there right and i'm much more open minded about the music he puts out there because i know him as a person like i don't know him as a, i would love to know him as a person but i know his story and his personality you know so like 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 we spoke about before i think building your brand now and showing your personality so much more in this time would be such an added advantage especially when it comes to your audience and growing your audience because they'll be like they'll always remember you they'll always remember you for you and when things settle down and when there's opportunities arising they be like okay i want ryan for my wedding i want ryan for this office thing because i followed him through this journey you know what i mean so it's just yeah. like it's, it's it's interesting what for do you sure. think about that i i think i think you hit the nail right on the head um because see the more you um the more you relate to a person you better connect with them right and just like you said most of the artists that even i listen to right um i listen to them more than the music it's because of who they are um what they are like as people um and their story where they come from you know because at the end of the day we are all people no matter what profession we do no matter how famous we are those are just labels right at the end of the day we all have the same heart we all have the same mind and we all have the same soul um and we all feel the same things right so for example if you you can be you can be the richest and most famous dude in the world but if you have if you have gone through certain hardships at home that will be received equally by the homeless for example i'm just taking two complete extremes right yeah. because you feel the same thing right um it's it's more or less what you do with that and how you channel that energy that um kind of matters at the end you know but like you said we all relate to each other so i think the more you relate to a person uh the stronger the connection that you do have and it's not just about um uh, what you do it's it's more of who you are is what i believe yeah absolutely and i think music especially more than everything else is such a beautiful thing cuz you can relate to lyrics you can relate to uh, what the song's about it can set your mood up it can set your mood down if you want it to uh, like it's such a beautiful marriage between the artist and the music that they produce and that's why people love music you know because they they live in that they live in those those musicians shoes vicariously through their music and it's 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 a beautiful thing but ryan bro i've taken enough of your time you got to be busy writing songs and i can't wait to see what songs you come out with uh but before you go man i've got to ask you what does kindness mean to you in your life um kindness to me is is everything i would say i believe um so i think a few people uh know that um uh, harry styles is an artist that i follow these days and that i that i look up to i love i love his music i love what he does i love who he is as a person and 
he his his brand slogan is treat people with kindness right which which i love and i think that is something that people should kind of have embedded in their hearts each and every person treat people with kindness because it costs nothing to it costs nothing to smile to a person or just say hi to a random stranger that you just cross on the road right and we live in we live in in a world where kindness is so rare that genuine kindness is also misconceived now and is taken in 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 a wrong reception where people think oh this guy like has something up his sleeve or he's up to no good right uh, whereas that shouldn't be the case because kindness should be norm right it should be normal to be kind to people right it should be used as an ulterior motive it should, it really shouldn't right kindness <laughs> should be part of your day to day life not not where you're just nice to someone um because they have something to offer you in return is just about being nice to someone so that you can put a smile on their face and and not have anything not expect anything in return for me it's it's i'm 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 a very generous person with my compliments be it man woman or child right um and say for example if 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 you're wearing a nice suit i would say dude you're looking you're looking fabulous you know if it's if it's a girl that's looking nice i would say oh you look beautiful right um and even the messages that you and i have you know i'm i'm very open with my compliments and so on and i just be, that's just who i am you know um but in in a world where we live in today it, it's sometimes taken with the wrong reception uh sometimes um but i feel that everyone should be kind to one another because it costs nothing and kindness to me is everything and it's it's part of who i am and i hope that and i try to make it a part of my daily life i i hope that it actually comes out yeah absolutely man that's beautiful man and i think uh, it's been an honor having you on uh, and i can't wait to see what else you uh, put out there i have subscribed to your youtube channel so i cannot see what else you put out there uh, you, and i will definitely definitely sh- oh man you got a subscriber in me uh, i will definitely definitely put out your Sorry buddy what did you say sorry our connections like so messed up it's been a pleasure having a chat with you honestly man yeah. love it love it and i and i just want to say this conversation doesn't end if i can support you in any way as a musician um sure. if you want me to share something just let me know and if i see it obviously i'll share it um and i will definitely share your youtube and uh, your new music and minish's music uh, the collaboration at the end of the day after all of my chats um and yeah man if it helps in if it helps someone in some way cuz i music is personally my mom and dad my mom and late dad were both big musicians well as in they have beautiful voices uh okay. but um yeah so music is a big part of my life as well so if i can support in any way i will awesome awesome and if and just just don't hesitate to have a chat man like any time we can we do we don't have to we don't have to even be on live we can just have a chat any other time as well so just thanks man like conversation doesn't end here this is this is just the beginning and 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 the start of of a friendship i'm glad that we finally had a chat like this thank you so much yes absolutely awesome. i love it ryan thank you so much buddy i uh, get to music writing cuz now is your time to make a song of your own <laughs> of course of course thank you so much lovely chat again thank you so much buddy have a beautiful yeah. day yeah you too take care bye see ya So guys that was Ryan I've never actually met him before I've seen him perform uh once uh and I thought they were an amazing band him and Voice Print I was listening to some of his music before uh he came on so that uh, I get to understand who he is and what his music's like and I think he's doing a brilliant job uh, I will share all of his links at the end of the day as well do go show him some love if you'd like to uh check out his profile uh his YouTube link uh is on his bio as well so you can click on that and you can go and check it out ahead of time if you'd like to But guys thank you so much for joining i will be taking a 15 minute break um, and i got my next girl who is quite the cargo uh if i do say so myself so i'm going to get on and talk about her love for racing and uh, why it's a passion but yeah guys i'll be back soon